NHS Scotland's vision is to deliver high quality patient centred safe and effective care. The practice felt that we could meet and exceed this expectation if we work together with the patients. We wanted to let the patients know that their opinions were important to us, that, that what they were saying about the practice mattered. meeting went very well actually. It was very well received by the, the patients and the practice. Um, we had written to the patients inviting them to attend and had included a copy of the most recent health and care experience results so they had some expectation of what they were, they were coming to discuss. The first meeting was a great success from a patient's point of view. Some of the group were anxious for initial guidance as to their function but this was clearly pointed out by the practice manager. They were to be seen in a supportive and an advisory role. Well, we had 18 patients um, on the group at that time and eight attended on the night. We were also joined by the local Scottish Health Council representative who guided us through our first meeting too. I liked the informality of the group. It was structured and professional. But at the same time, it was open and very welcoming. In fact, it was quite enjoyable. We all had a voice, which was really important because sometimes you don't feel as if you have a voice. I like the fact that there was minutes uh, produced very promptly and there was action points that were acted upon. I think it's made us very motivated after each meeting. It's such a good group and we feel really motivated to make the changes. We have action plans, everyone knows what they're doing. I think the group has made actually a big difference to the operation of the surgery and the way the patients perceive the surgery. Barriers could be trying to maintain the momentum that we have had within the past year. Um, for the group, I realise that we're still in the early stages and everyone is very motivated and enthusiastic, the patients and the practice, and I suppose it's trying to maintain that momentum. Challenges, I suppose, had been the, the costs of running the group. They were minimal, really. It was only the frontline staff were attending and then sending out some mail shots and things to the group, although the majority of them are on me email, so we tend to do, communicate electronically. The, the benefits of having the group far outweigh the um, the coast. There's nothing really that I would do differently. I think the plan, it was very well considered. We had thought about it for some time. I had talked about it with the admin team and the clinical team. And I think it was key, key success to the group was having um, input from the local Scottish Health Council representative early on. Before the group and I met for the first time, I was able to meet with her and I bounced my ideas off of her. She had experience from other community groups that she could bring. I worked with one of the group members who had difficulty ordering his prescriptions online. Um, he didn't realise it would save his his list of medication. Um, so I made some instructions for him um, and he, he followed the instructions and we um, spoke backwards and forwards with email and the phone and he now orders his prescriptions online without any trouble um, and his medication list is all saved for each time he needs to order it. All he has to do is tick the box um, and those instructions have been uh, circulated. We've got a leaflet and it's displayed in the waiting room. Patients didn't know we actually had an interview room uh, where we could discuss results or things in private. So we've advertised that through the television and in the waiting room. Also the recording of patients who failed to attend We've actually put a positive spin on it now, rather than just record how many patients failed to attend and the hours wasted. We're putting how many actually attended and how many um, days it was to wait to see a GP for a routine appointment and to try and improve those uh, figures. The group to continue in the future, I think it's important that we continue to work together to develop patient services and I think that will keep patients focused or the group focused on, on where we're going. Me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tea and coffee during the meetings and Mr. Pepe's provided really nice speaking. <laughs> Get joining. <laughs> <laughs>